Hey everybody, welcome back to Starbound with me, GW365, the Permadeath uh, Edition. Um, I've, I've actually managed to update my PC, but for some reason, I don't know if you can hear it if I say silently for about five seconds. For some reason, when I've, I've just tested it before I started recording, I can't figure out how to get it off. My old PC, it's the same sound card, but yet... I didn't have any fuzz in the background, but now I seem to be getting this fuzzy, fuzzy like background noise. And I don't, I'm not entirely sure why. Um, it's not, everything's set up correctly, but for some reason it's just doing that. And I've no idea why. It's a real pain in the backside, but if anyone could help us, it's a, it's an Nvidia. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it is. A GT, GTX 480 or something. I don't know. So basically, yeah. Um, We'll just try and soldier on, regardless. Last time, if you joined us, you, you'll remember that we found like some not so inhabited mine shaft. So we're just going to venture across here, annihilate these little Pokemon wannabe thingies with our axe. Do we did actually take out the uh, uh, UFO, didn't we, the time before? But I think we were after some more iron, and I only got 28, and I feel that we needed more than that. I can't remember what. Follow, so we might just have to venture back. Sorry for this little waste of time, but yeah. So yeah, I've had a an improvement of my PC. So hopefully it shouldn't lag as much when I get into like the built-up areas, like the penal colonies and such. Um, and all in all, it should be better. It's just, just this sound bug, I can't seem to get rid of. I don't know. I, I can't seem to figure it out. Right, we we're off to the star map, wasn't we? Wasn't we? That's that's right. What station we need to do that with is this. Oh no, I've actually done it, haven't I? I've already got the, the uh, star map. Because uh, I've unlocked all this lot. Glitch spawners. Guard spawners. I had a guard last time. It was pretty useful. useful. Uh, so we need, we need iron in abundance. We have a silver pickaxe. We've only just got that. Yeah, I remember that. We are definitely in need of some iron. As it is permadeath though, we are gonna struggle. So we're still gonna we're still gonna go venture into the left, so a bit of a waste. In fact, just before we do that, I wonder if we could actually make something with the iron that we have actually got. So let's smelt that. Our adventure's quite full as well, so really I ought to have taken one of those boxes because as you can see, my inventory is full and I did actually take one of the boxes, so it's okay. Right, so I've placed this box in the corner like so. And then wang everything that we don't really need, like the basic tents and rope and oh, a metal crate as well. Oh, a big chest. Plenty of storage space. What am I talking about? There we go. Uh, inventory. We might as well get the metal crate as well. Put it at the other side. There you are. So 16 slots. We don't need the stone pickaxes in there. Lantern. Flashlight. We don't need 18 flashlights, so we'll get rid of some of them. Molten cars can go in this metal one for the time being. Grape seeds. That sword is terrible, so that can go as well. Petals. Grapes, do we really need them? See, save that for a rainy day. Whiskey flask. I wonder if we can actually drink it. What's my, what's my food like? I ate a whiskey glass. <laughs> whiskey flask, even. <laughs> Floodlights. These could uh, look quite cool. Uh, Nice that you get a sound effect now uh, from the, um, the chests and, su and such, the crates, whatever you want to call it. Uh, where should I put this? Bottom of the stairs, I reckon. Mm, can't really. I could put it under there, I suppose. There we go. Lights! Uh, so yeah, we were meant to be adventuring straight away, but as it is, no. So yeah, we wanted to put some stuff in here, aren't we? Right, bye. We've got another chest, I've just seen that there. So I'll put you there. Uh, campfire. I might keep hold of that just in case we do need it. Um, one thing we do need to do is cook some food as well. Um, chair. Go ahead. We'll, we'll go ahead and place a chair somewhere. We'll place it by the anvil, shall we? There we go. Right, inventory again. I ain't got much in terms of, of uh, res uh, materials. Right. Saplings can go in there. 
don't really need that, we don't really need the grapes. Right, okay, I think we're good to go, just about, just gonna smelt some copper. Um, oops, I was already there. Take the iron, and wang the copper ore in there. So smelt that. So yeah. Now up to 70 subscribers, it's crazy. All of a, I've, all of a sudden, in, in like the space of a month, just over a month, I've gained 13 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome news. Um, so I can't thank you all enough. Um, I'm going to maybe try and branch out, branch out to a couple of other games uh, shortly. It's just, um, like I said, I've been waiting for the computer to be fixed. I've, I've got, like, at this moment in time, I'm going to upload them both today because I've had to miss out, uh, as it were, Sunday uh, to record. Uh, it's now Monday. Um, I'm going to put two videos up today to try and compensate for the missing uh, a day. Uh, I couldn't really do much about it because um, well, I was working all day. And I had to let my uh, my dear old dad, because he knows how to make com uh, computers up and that, and he installed it all for us. Um, uh, it's actually all his old gear actually that I've managed to get off him, um, which was better than mine. So he said he was due an upgrade, so I said, okay, give me your stuff. Well, I didn't say it like that at all, in the slightest. But yeah, that's basically what's happened, and that's why I've managed to get some uh, new and improved stuff. So, let's see what else we can actually make with what we've got. So steel bars, we can make 26, so I'll go ahead and do that. Craft, can we actually make anything? We can make a steel hunting bow. Might be nothing to be, it's nothing to be sniffed at. I'm just going to keep having a look to see what there is. Steel doors, I'm not really bothered for steel doors. Uh, steel bed, again I'm not really bothered for that. However, what I am bothered for is when I look at my inventory, I have only got... I do actually need iron. I will need iron. Because of the, I need an iron helmet, so then I can go ahead and get the uh, be better armour. Um, so yeah, quest for iron continues because I've just used it all. So what I will do for the time being, I think I'll make a, a steel bow. Um, and that should aid us in taking down enemies, hopefully one shot them. And at least it gives us a bit of a, a respite, you know, rather than just firing several times. And that's all we can make just about for now. The next, obviously, task is to get the uh, robot leg. So we are going to need tons of iron anyway, and coal as well. So that is definitely going to be on our quest. Uh, what we're going to quest for. So. so eight minutes in and we've <laughs> not really done much. I've sorted my inventory out and have decided a plan of action. Got this axe, it's not quite got as long range, but it does more damage than that, that horrible, horrible sword. This bow should be better, it's see how much it takes. Ooh, only... <sighs> bad news brown is that. We're going to need something that gives us power, uh, gives us health. So let's see, if we can see how this fares against this. Well, there's quite a lot of damage. And he still gets a hit on me, two hits on me, which is fantastic news. And then we'll go make some more bandages, because obviously we are a bit short on them. There we go, 20 again. Let's have 20 more than enough. There's plenty of vines about. Vines. Get back. Eat arrow. Okay, don't. Eat my axe instead. I'm glad I actually said axe there, because that sounded kind of, it could have sounded wrong if you changed a couple of the letters. Well, then if you actually got what I meant. Is that a bit of copper? That copper ore, oh, yeah, sweet. What's that? There's nothing down here, and again, you'll probably pick up on the fuzzy noises now. Now I'm underwater because it muffles all the sound, and when I'm not talking, you probably heard it. When I wasn't talking, you probably heard it, should I say. Let's get out of there. Right, anything down here? I think that's what I did last time. I think I had a look at this. Let's get some torches down. I am really low on torches as well, but there is a ton of iron, uh, a ton of copper there. My least favourite re resource. And right. So, oh, coal galore. And yeah, we'll just 
just go ahead and mine all this copper out. Uh, copper, I keep saying, making that mistake. Coal. Right. Uh, torch. We've got some more resources down here. More coal, which obviously is going to be needed. We've already established that. The only reason I've got the torch really is for mainly looking down places like this so that I can just go ahead and mine it. Which is water would do one though. Put you there, then I can actually see what I'm doing. And I do actually need to make some more torches. It's probably a good thing I'm getting all this, this coal more than iron light, you know. But I do obviously need the iron. Uh, so just jump out of this hit, this here water, and we'll go ahead and make some more torches. Another 30 or so. So I don't want to use too much coal. If I can help it, we have schmucks inbound. Oh, one shot kill and leather. I missed somehow. I put my weapon away like uh, a dumbass. Die! Give me our meat. Yum yum. And we have found something else. Is it silver? It's silver. Nothing to get over excited about. I thought for a second it might have been plat platinum, although we don't really need platinum at this moment in time. There doesn't seem to be anything in the bottom of that little pool of water. So we'll venture up north again. Well, out of this, this cave, this cavern, whatever you want to call it. That's a bit of coal there. I don't know how I saw that. But it ends up there's, there's quite a bit of coal. It's good news indeed. Anything else here? Let's pop that there. No, nothing. Right, okay. Jump up here. Get the, the old axe out. Venture down. So we did find that abandoned, no, not so abandoned mine shaft. But we don't need to go in there this time. We can venture a bit further. Hopefully, we'll find something else because it was a bit disappointing. Obviously, you like to find civilizations and and such. And uh, I know we kind of did, but they weren't anything to be, you know, they, they weren't. It wasn't a great ex um, finding in my eyes compared to like the penal colonies. And that is a that is a fantastic find. Well, I've been down here and I didn't see that before. Well, I haven't been down here, I've been down there. I might, I might just knock the water through anyway. There you go. And we'll just mine that out. Great, jump mining. It's obviously the way forward. Um. Yeah, did I drop some down there? I don't think I did. Sure, it's just dirt. Right, so it's an alternate route into this area. So, we found some more iron, which is obviously some great news. Because that is indeed what we're short of, and that's a ton. Ha! Oh, how I wish I had that weapon from the uh, normal run-through that I was doing before the permadeath came out. Because I would mine that out in, like, an instant. And having to use a pickaxe, it, it kind of... It's a massive letdown, if I'm honest. Obviously, you know, it's... Obviously, it's the main tool you're supposed to use, but it was just a lot more fun and quicker and easier. Three hits in the dirt, and it'd have been yours, all, all of it, pretty much. Might have missed one piece or something like that. But it made mining and collecting resources so much quicker, and to some extent, fun as well. Because you didn't have to change weapon if you came across any uh, any bad guys. I'm just going to venture down here and just have a look and see if there's anything down here. And indeed, there is. There's some uh, iron with my name on it. Anything else? No, it seems not. I'm going to venture down there. I don't know why I haven't done already. But we'll have a look. Get the uh, axe out at the ready. Or even the bow. Ah, now I can't venture down there. I could have sworn I went down there. Uh, definitely not. Right, so let's have a look. Why did I not go down here? There must be a reason for it. Yes, I know. You're probably agitated by my uh, arrival in your presence. But... Sadly, I need this coal, so you need to get over it, get over yourself, and just leave me to it. There we go. There's nothing else down here. Maybe I had a look earlier, I don't know, because I probably thought, oh, I've got plenty of coal, and I used the torch instead. So let's head up here again. And I think I've fully explored this area. Yes, I think I have. I might just have a quick gander up here with the torch. In fact, I think I can see something. 
yes, it's copper, which is definitely put on my list. Let me rate. One piece of copper, really, this much effort to get one piece of copper. Why do I do it? I have no idea. So, we do actually need to eat. I'll have two pieces. Two pieces, not pizzas, although two pizzas would be very nice about now. It is about dinner time. Get the old axe on the go. And we're into the night sky. Now, how does this bow fare against this horrible looking alien? It does half power damage. And now I can't use it. Uh, two hit kill. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Not three bad even. Uh, I could venture through here. I didn't even see him though. <laughs> it's a good job he was friend friendly ish. There we go. Let's have a, have a ganders down here. Tap if press the right key. And it doesn't appear to be. That appears to be the biggest waste apart from this silver over here. Of torches ever known to man. Yep, it definitely appears so. Oh, there's one soul piece of iron, which obviously we get overly excited about as I, as I watch my old, my other videos back. Oh, there is a bit, a bit of copper there, but hopefully there might be something else. Let's try and create a bit of a ledge. By a ledge, I don't mean a legend. I mean a ledge to stand on. Thank you for the copper. Thank you. Two peas and one peas galore. Thank you very much. Right, let's continue onwards. And what can we see over here? Another friendly enemy, if you like. Because they are enemies if you hit them once. And I think this is somewhere else I found before, but I didn't really explore. Maybe I did. It appears that I did. One piece of copper. I really can't go for that. Although I might go ahead and get this because there's definitely iron to the left of where I am now. Let's try and get rid of some of this water without breaking into that one, otherwise it will just fill up over here. There we go, that'll do. Alright, anything else? Get this into six instead of five. No, there's nothing. Anything into the water? Help if actually made the jump. Anything in here? Anything at all? It appears not. So we'll head back up again. With the torch in hand. And see if we can survive the night. It appears I've lit up some areas, but not all areas. Uh, anything in here? One piece of iron? Of course, means awesome news. Um, how much have we actually got at this moment in time? We've got 31, so we've only got 15 pieces of iron, which is dreadful. So we need loads of iron to make some uh, armour, and then we can get the better armour. That's the plan, anyway. So, still friendly um, creatures, as it were, at this moment in time, anyway. It's finding loads of water, which is a bit of a pain. But there is something there to empty it into. Did you do it? No, he did. The water is indeed going down, but it's filling up below, which is terrible news. Nice piano music. It's like some a house. Let's have a gander up here. Anything at all. Anything. Give me something. Give me some... Oh yes, you ask and you get, it, well I should say if you don't ask you don't get, it's an almighty ruling that I say, if you don't ask you don't get, I think it's a pretty nifty one and look how much it has given me, because I asked the game, like, come on game, give me something please, can you give me something please even, I didn't even say those words but I might as well have done, you get, you get my meaning, anything else? Right, instead of going all the way around, I might just mine straight through. Which would be a bit pointless, and it probably is, but... Because I can. It's probably the thing that comes to mind, the uh, notion that comes to mind, if that's the right way to put it, I think it is. It's not every 
dare use the word notion, but anyway. And my timer is indeed going off at this moment in time. So, for now, I think I'll have to call it a video. I'll probably continue from this point. I don't know if you can notice or not, I, I seem to think that it's not lagging as much. But all in all, it seems like a bit of an improvement with regarding how fast it's moving. And I am recording, I am uploading at the same time though this time. The main test will be wait, the main test will be when I find a penal colony or something along those lines, an apex scientist lab or something. But anyway, as always, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and hopefully you'll join us next time. So until then, I'll see you then. Bye bye.